Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own embroidery template. If you're a member of my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire, you know that our group has almost 800 members in four months. And it's no surprise that people are wanting to know how to use their machines. So one of the things that I think is important for someone who owns a new machine is to know how to use as many features as possible. That's the reason I record these videos. Our largest hoop size, it's 10 and 5 eighths by 16. But if you really put that in specific terms, it's 10.63 inches by 15.98. Now, no one would remember that. And then if you look at the metric, it's 272 by 408 millimeters. So what we have is a, an area that is what is called the sewable field. If you don't own the template for your machine, you may want to create one. So let's create one for the largest template. Now what I've done is I've just hooped some stabilizer. And this stabilizer is simply a tearaway stabilizer. You can use something more permanent if you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the, one of the largest designs that come with our machine, and this works with a Luminaire or a Solaris. So I'll pick one of the largest designs and I'll choose this one and I'll choose set. Now what I want to do is I want to go to edit and I'll choose move. Now, the first thing I want to do, it will come in centered, but I want to make sure I'm centered because I'm going to get that center point and I'll go to embroidery. In embroidery, I'll select this icon that's right here where my fingernail is. You'll see it has a needle and a square around it. Select that and here's the center. So select the center. Now what you want to do, make sure your needle's unthreaded and you'll do needle up, needle down. Now, when you do the needle down, what you want to do is take a pencil or something else and mark around it. Now, I just do kind of a half circle because I'm going to use this as a way to connect the dots more or less. Just like this template has holes in it right here to, to mark as a marking aid, if I can find a quilting material large enough, I'll make little holes. If not, I can always take a hole punch or take some scissors and mark a hole so that I can use my template as well. All right, so now what we're going to do is we'll needle up. Now let's go back and make sure when you're doing this that you have enough space in front of you and that you're, you have clearance behind. I have to turn my machine at a severe angle to film, but even so, I had to be careful because I backed into my other machine. You don't want to do that. Now choose return, go back to edit. So we'll go back to edit. And this time we want to go back to move. And while that design is in the center, you want to move to the very top. So I moved to the very top to the most extreme place. I'll use my mouse so my hand's not in the way but you understand what I'm doing. You'll hear a clicking noise and I've turned my sound down. So you probably didn't hear it with my voice, but just choose okay. Go back to embroidery. And now what you want to do is select the icon again, and we're going to select this point. Now you guessed it, we're going to needle up, needle down and mark it. Now it's really important that you make sure that you are in the center for these center reference points, because what happens is you move things around, your design, you may have marked the, the point for the left and you didn't move your design back to the center. So we'll go ahead and raise the needle up, come back and we'll choose okay. Now we know we're in the center this time, so let's return. Now we go to move and we'll move all the way down to the bottom. You heard that click. All right, so choose okay. Go to embroidery and you guessed it. We're going back and we'll choose this lowest point. This was about the time I hit my other machine. 
So make sure you don't do what I just did. And you'll take the needle up, needle down, and you'll mark that point. Okay, let's move back. We'll choose okay. I'll use my mouse from now on. And we'll return. We'll move. Let's move it to the, the center. Now let's go to the far left. And we're going to mark this point that I'm, I'm selecting right now. So we'll go back to embroidery. And don't worry about it that your hoop is moving back to the middle. Your design is still sitting over here on the far extreme. And that's also a good visual aid because you can see this more or less plus sign. Now what I'm going to do is do the needle up, needle down. And I'll mark it. Okay, we'll choose OK. And let's return. And now we're at the far left. We want to go to the far right. So what I do is I just move it back to the center and then move to the far right. Listen for the, the clicking noise. Go to embroidery. Go back and select the far right. And needle up, needle down. And mark it. So you're going to go through all of these coordinates, marking the locations. You need to make sure, as I mentioned earlier, that what you're doing is you're taking your design when you return and moving your design back to the center or to the far extreme, to the far left, right, or to the far left or to the far right. And for instance, if I wanted to mark this corner down here where my mouse is, what I'm going to do is move it down and just make sure that it's at the far right hand corner and I would mark that. I think you have the gist of what we're doing. This is going to be so much help because all you're going to do afterwards, as I believe I mentioned earlier, is you're going to take your pencil or marking pen and you're going to mark around the perimeter of your hoop. So this becomes your hoop template. You'll take a ruler and you'll connect these dots. And if you wish, you can take something and point, uh, punch a little hole in it. And you now have a template that is reusable, and most of all, it's inexpensive. Thanks everyone, and I hope you have a great day.